The ceremony, which took place amid tight security, witnessed the presence of members of the diplomatic corps, a former head of state, Yakubu Gowan, Senate President Bukola Saraki, and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Yakubu Dogara, governors of Kogi, Edo, Ondo, and Oshun states, as well as the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Tinubu, among other distinguished personalities. The President's oath of office was administered by the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami. I DITV News spoke to some of those who attended the ceremony, among whom were the outgoing Minister of State for Aviation, Heidi Sirika, the Deputy Director General of the Buhari Campaign Organization, Akidet Waziru Bulama, and a member of the House of Representatives, Honorable Garba Chede, among others, on their expectations for the next four years. I'm very true. So government and people must work together. There must be a synergy to be able to move this country forward. I'm very confident we'll be able to do all that synergy going forward. Of course, yes, greater emphasis will be uh, placed on insecurity. Um, the achievement so far is recorded in degrading organized crime, most particularly um, Boko Haram in the northeast, you know, the militancy in Niger Delta and the banditry in Zamfara. You know, the government, I'm sure, will come up with a policy and strategy for closure to bring, you know, this um, crisis to a permanent end, you know, um, to resettle people, assist them back, you know, to regain their life, to start farming, trading, and international commerce. Same thing to the president of the Senate. But these are the things. Because if there is smooth running, if there is understanding between the executive and the legislature, things are going Administration will expect that the administration will continue with what they are focused on, on infrastructure, public accountability. We did the operations very successfully. And everything, as you see, has not been without any problem or any problem. So we will count on that. Highlight of the occasion was a match pass and a motorcade by the president. From Abuja, I am Ahmed Hassan Ahmed reporting for DITV World News.